Hello friends, in this video today we are going to solve few problems using Hamilton's equation of motion. Please watch all the videos added to the playlist named as classical mechanic. So this is our first question using Hamilton's equation of motion so that this Hamiltonian is given here. This leads to this equation leads to the equation of motion of them harmonic oscillator which is given by this equation okay that means we need to show uh, we uh, actually we should obtain this equation this equation of damped harmonic oscillator from this equation this is given here so let us solve this one how to solve this so here given h is equal to p square by twice m e to the power minus rt plus half m omega square x square e to the power r t then yes and this is the hamiltonian given here so we know that we know the hamilton's here you see q dot is given by del h by del p and p dot is given by minus del h by del q so now here you see instead of q dot we are going to find x dot because here position uh, is x here okay so let us find x dot x dot will be del h by del p okay now if you differentiate this equation number one suppose with respect to p then you should get x dot is equal to p e to the power minus r t by m okay if you differentiate this then you will get this okay so hope you have understood this if you differentiate uh, this term you will get this okay and derivative of this with respect to p it will be zero okay so this is suppose equation number two so let me give it as equation number two suppose now let us find p dot if you find p dot uh, p dot is in this case so we have already written above here p dot is equal to minus h by uh, del h by del q minus del h by del q so here instead of q we have to write x here in this case so minus del h by del x so q represents generally position and here position is represented by in this hamiltonian it is represented by x so that's why we are writing del h by del x instead of this okay so hope you have understood up to this now if you differentiate this equation number one with respect to x then here you see this first term doesn't contain any x so this will be zero and if you differentiate the next term this portion then what you will get then you will get minus m omega square x e to the power r t i hope uh, you know differentiation well so now let me take this is equation number three now from this equation equation number two implies p is equal to m x dot e to the power r t here you can see this is function of t x dot is also function of t and e to the power r t is also function of t so let us differentiate with respect to time t differentiating with respect to t 
then you will get p dot is equal to so let me use another color here then you will get p dot is equal to so m we will apply the product rule here u v its derivative is given by u derivative of v plus v derivative of u so if you apply that then you will get m then first function that is x dot derivative of this d by dt of e to the power rt that's given by r e to the power rt i think you know that so you will get r e to the power rt and now m e to the power rt derivative of the second function that is derivative of x dot that's gonna be equal to x double dot okay so up to this i hope you have understood this so p dot means dp by dt okay that's it so now you see if you replace this p dot uh, by this from equation number one then this will become let me use the green color here then you will get minus m omega square x e to the power rt that's going to be equal to m x dot e to the power rt into r plus so let me clean this part okay plus m x double dot e to the power rt so what we have done we have used equation number three okay this equation from this equation we have put the value of p dot here okay so using equation number three so hope you have understood this now if you simplify this then what you will get then you will get m x double dot e to the power rt plus m x dot e to the power rt into r plus m omega square x e to the power rt is equal to zero so you will get this now what we are going to we are going to divide its uh, both side by m e to the power rt then what you will get then you will get this equation x double dot r x dot plus omega square x is equal to zero and this is the required equation so hence it is solved it is proved so our next question is the lagrangian for the harmonic oscillator is given by this equation and we need to find the hamiltonian so how to solve this now let me show you how to solve this one. so here the lagrangian l is given by half x dot square x dot represent velocity and x represents position so omega square x square by 2 minus alpha x cube so this is the lagrangian so we know that uh, we know hamiltonian is is equal to q dot into p minus l p is the momentum here and q dot is uh, velocity so instead of q dot we are going to write here x dot in this case okay so now you see here p is the momentum in this case and p is given by p is given by del l by del x dot okay del l by del x dot so that means it can be obtained uh, differentiating this given lagrangian with respect to x dot and if you differentiate it with respect to x dot then you will get half into 2 into x dot so 
so this term is the function of x dot only and remaining terms are not function of x dot so that's why uh, derivative of the remaining two terms these two terms will be zero if you differentiate them with respect to x dot so and from here we have got this result and if you cancel this two then here you will get only x dot so this is p now use this value of p use this value of p which is equal to x dot here and that means here then what you will get then hamiltonian is will be equal to x dot and p dot sorry p is p is nothing but x dot here we have got so again one more x dot will be there then minus l now replace this l by this given l which is already given then what you can have here half x dot square minus omega square x dot square sorry x square by 2 minus alpha x cube okay so now if you remove the bracket then so this is gonna be x dot square minus x dot square by 2 and this minus this minus it will be plus and this minus also will be plus okay omega square x square by 2 plus alpha x cube okay and here you see if you subtract x square by 2 from x square that's gonna give you sorry x dot square not x square x dot square by 2 plus here omega square x square by 2 plus alpha x cube so this is the record hamiltonian so hope you have understood this this is our result so thank you for watching if you think this is helpful for you then share with your friends and if you are new to my channel subscribe the channel thank you